part of this topic let's understand how to extract substrings from main string using split function if you are processing variable length columns with a delimiter then we use split to extract the information here are some of the examples for variable length columns and the use cases for which we typically extract information if you think about address we will have house number street name city state zip code etc and they can be uh, typically separated by comma we might want to extract information such as city state etc from the address split typically takes two arguments one is column and the second one is delimiter split converts each string into array and we can access the elements using index and the index starts with a zero we can also use explode in conjunction with split to explode the list of array into records in data frame it can be used in use cases such as word count phone count etc we will see few examples with respect to using explode and split in tandem let's get started with creating the spark session object this will take care of creating the spark session object for us once the spark session object is created let's create the data frame with one record this will take care of creating the data frame with one record x the column name will be dummy data type is string for this column let me import split explode as well as lit in this case i am passing one string using lit to the split so we are actually passing one record data frame and we are trying to split using space as delimiter this will actually convert the string into a list you can see the output here you will be seeing only one element or one record as part of the output and the type of that record is nothing but list you can access a specific element in the list by using index like this the index starts with zero so when i say of to it will actually return how let's run this and we should be able to see the output here it is returning how we can use explode on top of split it will convert this list into individual records so when i run this it will actually get a data frame with five records you can see the output here when it comes to the problems most of them can be solved either by using substring or split to extract the information from the strings let's perform few tasks to extract information from fixed length strings as well as delimited variable length strings using split i am creating a list for employees with name ssn and phone numbers there will be some additional fields as well when it comes to ssn the format is nothing but three digits then space then two digits then space then four digits it is a fixed length and it will contain 11 characters the phone number format is nothing but country code is variable and the remaining phone number have 10 digits one can have multiple phone numbers where the phone numbers are separated by comma we will see how to use split to explode the phone numbers into records and also we will see how to get the phone count for each and every employee as part of the examples i am going to demonstrate even that one when it comes to the each phone number the country code can be 1 2 3 digits then we will get area code the area code is three digits then phone number prefix again three digits then phone number remaining which is nothing but four digits all the four parts are separated by spaces now let's create a data frame with column names name ssn and phone number along with other uh, columns however i'll be extracting only name ssn and phone number uh, to take it further i will not even be getting name i'll be getting id ssn and phone number uh, we have additional fields uh, other than uh, name ssn and phone number in this uh, data frame they are nothing but id salary etc uh, they will not be used that much as part of this demo uh, we'll be extracting area code and the last four digits from the phone number And then we will also extract last four digits from ssn we'll also see an example where we get the count of phone numbers for each employee where the final output will be the employee id and the phone count let me create this list it contain four elements using this list let me create the data frame if you look at the phone numbers some of the employees have multiple phone numbers and each phone number is separated by comma you can see the comma between these two phone numbers here uh, this actually takes care of creating the data frame we should be able to preview the data in this case i am only selecting employee id and phone numbers uh, to preview the data you can see the output here you can see the details related to phone numbers along with the employee id now let's uh, use split and explode uh, to get the individual phone numbers also i am going to get ssn along with the individual phone numbers let's uh, run this as of now employees df have only four records but once we import this and once we run this depending upon uh, number of phone numbers uh, overall the number of records uh, will increase in this case it will be seven records you can actually run this and you should be able to see the output we can see the employee id phone numbers ssn and phone number and you can see that the phone number is broken into individual records for each and every employee where we have more than one phone numbers employee id 1 have two phone numbers and hence there are two records for employee id 1 with uh, the two phone numbers now if you want to get the last four digits of uh, ssn or phone number 
uh, it is pretty straightforward. You should be able to use split like this on top of the column. When it comes to phone number, the last four digits is nothing but fourth item after splitting by space. And hence I'm using off three to get the last four digits of phone number. Area code is nothing but uh, second element after splitting by space. The first part is the country code, then uh, area code, then the rest of the phone number. To get the area code, this is how you should be able to split and extract the second element from the phone number. And we are applying this on top of the phone number column which is derived after exploding using phone numbers with comma as delimiter. Now let me run this and you should be able to see the last four digits of phone number area code and also last four digits of social security number. Social security number only have three elements which are separated by space and we should be able to get the third element by using two as index after splitting by space and you can see the last four digits of social security number for each and every employee. Now if you want to get phone count First, let's uh, preview what we have as part of the employees DF. We have employee ID, phone numbers, SN and phone number. We should be able to group by employee ID and we should be able to get the number of uh, phones each employee have. This is how it will look like. Uh, we can use employees DF which contain the phone number broken into individual records and then we can group by employee ID. Then we can invoke count and then we can say show to preview the output. This will actually give us number of phones each employee own. This is how you should be able to use split to extract the information from the strings. And also you can explore the list that is generated after applying split on a particular field. And you should be able to break the delimited values into individual records and you can process them further. Uh, make sure you are really comfortable with split. This is one of the very important function which we typically use when we deal with the data in real world scenarios.